If you sell personalized products and need more information from your customers than Shopify allows, keep watching because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add additional fields to your product pages and how to charge more for personalizations. There is no coding required. We are doing all of this with a free app. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. All right, so here's what we're going to be creating. I have this personalized dog tag, which is an AliExpress product. We have a spot for the customer to add in their pet's name, their phone number, and we also have the option to engrave their address on the tag as well for an additional $5. Let's jump into how I set this up. So here's my product page for the dog tag. You can see here I've added in my color variants. Nothing fancy here. The real work happens inside the app, but I wanted to give you a look at my setup before we begin. Here's the app I'm using. It is called G Variants Product Options. As you can see with this app, you can build an unlimited number of custom product options. One of those options is a file upload, which is a really cool feature. And then they have here that the app improves revenue. And I think that's one of the best parts of this app. With each personalization, you can charge more or upsell products. So this is another great feature. Follow along with me and let's install this app. Once you get here, here's where we start adding our product options. Click add element, and then you can see here all of the options they have to choose from. For the first one, I'm going to select text, and then you click on it to expand, and change the element label to your desired title. For me, it's going to be pet's name. The other thing you might want to select is required field. This means they cannot proceed without entering something in. This is going to prevent back and forth emails for missing information. Once you're finished, click back and then we're going to add our next element. For this one, we are going to select the radio button because we're going to ask if they want to include a phone number only or if they would like to include both a phone number and an address. For the element title, I'm going to ask what information would you like to include? And then here we are going to put phone number only, add another value option, and type phone number and address. And don't forget to make this a required field. All right, now here's where our upsell happens. Because if the customer wants to add an address to the dog tag, we are going to charge an additional $5 to do that. To do this, you click on this little price tag icon, and then you can see it's asking us to select a product. The way the app has this set up, you actually need to create a product for your add-on. So you can see here, I've created a product. I have a simple title, add-on, address, and then the price. This is all I've added for this demonstration, but depending on how you want it to look at checkout, you may decide to add more. So we're gonna go ahead and select that add-on, click back, and now we're gonna add the fields where the customer can enter their phone number and their address. You'll notice that I've added the address as a required field, and you're probably wondering, well, if a person selects that they want phone number only, why would you make this a required field? Well, another feature of this app is that you can add conditional logic. Conditional logic essentially means that if a customer selects a certain thing, then it triggers something else. So click conditional logic options, and then I can specify that I only want this field to show if the customer selects that they want to add a phone number and an address. This way, if they select phone number only, it won't even show this field, so you don't have to worry about the fact that this is set as a required field. Setting it as required, like I said previously, is going to save you time going back and forth with emails if they forget to add this information in. And the second thing this is going to do is it adds a safety net in for you because it's not like they can select phone only just to get that price, but still type in an address. This won't even show if they don't select the correct option. When you're done here, click back. There is one more thing I want to note before we move on. You'll notice on mine that I have these color swatches here. You can add this in too by adding the color swatch element. 
The same makers of this app have another one called Globo Color Swatch, which I demonstrated in this video here. So mine are actually set up already from that app, but I just wanted to note in case you saw that video, that with this app here, the color swatch option is already built in. All you would need to do is add in your color swatches like this, but like I said, I already have this set up with a different app, so I'm going to delete this element. Our final step on this page is to attach these product options to either all of our products or a specific product. So click on products, select products, and here we're going to choose. You can choose manual if you want to attach this only to a certain product, and then you can set up a completely different set of options for a different product. If you have a large catalog of items, you can use this automate option to speed up your process, or the third option is to attach these to all of your products. I'm going to select manual since I want it for this specific product only. With all of that out of the way, we are now going to move on to our next step. Here you need to select which theme you want to install this app on. Once you have done that, click install. From here, you can click to check that it's working. You can see that it is, but we have this very obvious white background, but no worries, we're gonna work on that next. So click, I see the option set, and then you will be brought here. Now there are a lot of settings and things you could change here, but I'm only going to make two small changes. The first one is the white background, so click on settings design and for the app background i'm going to change it to something that matches my sense theme i entered f1 e f e6 once you're happy click save the next thing i'm going to change is the text that shows when you select an add-on it says selections will add five dollars to the price it sounds a little bit odd to me so i want to change this to do that click translation and i'm going to change selections to this add-on that's it, now let's take a look. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.